man, we got a pee. Hi, you guys. I just woke up. I gotta pee now. Here, I thought it was like 7 a.m. or something. Oh, that's a zit right there. Holy mackerel. <laughs> made it bleed. Alright, I'm gonna go pee. It's a beautiful day out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> need to get dressed. My boobies do need to get dressed. <laughs> so do I. When I get home, uh, me and Dusty actually dated again, probably in June, for a good month. The honey chicken and the sesame chicken. And the honey chicken tastes really good. I got more of these. And this is like six something. And these are like five dollars, two for five, so ten right there. Six something. And you know, and I'm just telling myself, I think I gotta lay off with the sparkling water. Because I think with the bubblies in the lot, um, it is not on sale. I think with the sparkling water with that, it irritates my stomach, you know? So, yeah. Um, so, I'm not gonna hardly drink that stuff anymore either because it's like I don't know what the heck you know so 
just want to see what's over here. So I'm out shopping now, as you noticed. So I just want to see what they have for uh, salads. They have like a little deli over here too. Macaroni and cheese. Ooh, those potatoes are good. Oh, yum. Look at this. Meatloaf dinner. It comes with peas, um, mashed potatoes, and, and this must be another one. Beef or oh, beef tips. See, this is what she was talking about right here. They have like a little vegetables on the side. Now this is eight. Why are these eight? Beef and gravy. Okay. Oh, and here's my as I was thinking of macaroni extreme. Um, that's a little too much a price. But if I find like these like little tiny ones, then it won't be too bad. Like for example, this maybe. How much are these? Oh, $3.99. Macaroni salad, I could try that. I'll pull I don't know what would it seven. Why are these up prices? I'm confused. I don't know if my stomach would take that though. Sometimes with too much mayo, I end up with the craps. So that's up in price. No, wait, that's like three forty. Well, I could try it. Okay, I, I'll try this. But it's like too expensive. Like seven bucks. That's what. Okay, here's smaller ones right here. Six bucks, but that's still a little off with the price. Seven bucks for the stinky thing. So yeah, they have TV dinners here too. I did not know that. All right, better get out to uh. Check. Salted. One salted. <laughs> Okay, seriously now. <gasps> oh, they have vitamin water over here. Oh, that's like, yeah, eight bucks. Eight bucks for a big pack like that. They're up in front, and that's why I picked two for five. Where's it been up for eight, nine bucks? Okay, right. guys, so I spent $21.15. This is a note for myself to write down in my diary, too. Uh, okay. 85 cents is your change. And did you want your receipt? Oh, yeah. Why can't I not close this up here? There you go. Okay. Should let my dad know I'm coming out. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stop this video here. Hi, <laughs> warm. Is that a donkey or a horse? A horse. 
<laughs> oh, I like your shirt. I like the color blue. Alrighty, you guys. I spent $13.89 yes. in this store. Future Silk. Write this down. $13.89. <laughs> I keep track of my money this way. That's good. <laughs> I say it on video and then I write it down. There you go. So don't forget. Eleven cents. Six dollars. There's your receipt. Oh, you can put the receipt in the bag for oh, me. Sure. Oh. And grab more uh napkins or I gotta grab more forks here. Excuse me, I need to grab a fork or something like that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I was drinking it too fast. You got Fuck. both windows here and the mirror. And then uh, on this side, he's got some plastic over some windows too. Oh, I was drinking it too fast. You okay? Is that brain freeze? Oh, yeah. <sighs> $5.04, I use my uh, food share card. Did you ever get that place to put all your stuff in? Storage? Oh, yeah. Um, we don't have time to put a Menards or anything, do we? Or no? Because I don't want anything to melt here. What about that storage unit? Yeah, that's what I need the lock for. Yeah, I really don't know what they're doing to the school here. They have it dug up and back, and I noticed the front here, they have like a garbage truck right there. And see? Park is in September. Yeah. It's a beautiful day out here in the Eeyore neighborhood. Next month I gotta go in there. I gotta go by Justin for two, four days. Mm. And August uh, 15th is uh, the cookout and the gyno. The guy know college is for me. I probably will have to go upstairs if I can't find okay, one down here. I'll try not to take forever here. <sighs> Ambulance stopped here. I wonder who or what happened here. Huh. what I've been craving for guys. It's Yummy. And when a woman is murdered, the police suspect her boyfriend. Now he has mysteriously disappeared. Keep smelling it now and all that's like yum. Mm. 
And this is crazy, guys. Fifty dollars. I spent a half of my um, pay. Sad baby. You gotta go easy with the spending this week. Probably no um, cafe unless I really, 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 really crave it. Okay. So. So if I crave it so much to where I could almost taste the stuff, then yeah. I put on Unsub Mysteries and like, I don't know what else to watch. And you know what guys, um, two days ago I was dreaming about um, eating something like this. I'm like, I know what I'm getting on either Sunday or Monday something like this and I'm like oh yes most definitely and again this was called banana split um chocolate thing I wonder where Beth is I haven't seen her commenting in a long time Beth I hope you're doing okay yeah I'm <laughs> I'm this is crazy, guys. I'm almost feeling full here. Oh, well, I can always put it in the refrigerator and eat the rest later. That's weird. I'll finish off my stuffing, though. I can print off all the guest names just between you and me. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Mm -hmm.
I'm okay. Just trying to keep the blood pressure down. Future mother-in-laws do not help with that. It's hard for both of us. I mean, I've been kind of emotional lately. Don't blame yourself. No, I know. It's just, I've been on edge ever since we moved out here, and I think I'm just taking it out on everybody. You're pregnant, and you're not supposed to move. Your anxiety is justified. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. I've, I've kind of always had problems with anxiety. Maybe I still do. But when I got pregnant, I had to get off my meds. Nothing crazy, just like the normal antidepressants you see on TV. As long as it's out. You told me you were pregnant. You lied to me to trick me into staying with you. Who the hell does that? At least I tried. I tried everything to make it work between us. I just thought a clean break would be better. That's so noble of you. Did you ever think that maybe you should ask me what I needed? I already told you I could have handled things a little differently, okay? But now you got what you wanted. So just leave us alone. You know, I... I spent a lot of time thinking about why. <laughs> what did you think about this? Think about what? Who is she, Brad? I'm...
I was eating a barbecue rib sandwich from Quick Trip. Oh, 72. I, 20. Oh, 74. N, 32. guys pretty soon I will be going to bed so um I had to charge my phone up a little bit it was down to nine now it's back to 14 give me a second I couldn't shower earlier because it was storming as you noticed and again you could barely see off the window but uh let me see Oh, I can still see clouds a little bit. See? A little pink. See a star. And my lights are on. So, I don't know if it'll rain again tonight or what. But, um, tomorrow I will wash up my head because it feels like all dandruffy and gross so I'm gonna charge up my battery again here I was watching movies all day sorry about this dull day guys oh fucking damn it that's the damn good word why do I Damn cord is like this. What the fuck? Just look at this, guys. Why is it doing that? So rolled up and everything. And the hell? And I am locked. Alright. I have 14%. Right. 
round over. Okay, this level right here is really starting to piss me off. I've been trying for over uh, 30 minutes, and I'm going to try one last time and one last time only. And, um, if I beat it, I beat it. Hip, hip, hooray. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> they gave me cocktail sauce, which is pretty And tricky. so, I'm reviewing my video from Friday, so that's what the background <laughs> noise is. Um, and so, um, I'm gonna do that now, show you the video, not the video, the game, I mean, and then go to sleep. Not beeping as um because the bus broke down. I start cleaning off the counter this is getting ridiculous when it's filled up like that gotta organize everything hi it's fucked up it's like oh, crap or something so yeah you guys I kind of have a headache too I did pass the level so there's hardly any clothes anymore but didn't give it a one, so is that my fan? Like, like probably it is. See, reflection of my fan. Yeah, it could be. So, hmm. Good night, good night, guys. Oh, and I must point out to you, um, for those that would comment something like, oh, Nora, it happened like 20 years ago or so, or 10 years ago or so, just let it slide, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. <sighs> well, it still bothers me, okay? For example, if there was like an issue with the internet going out, I don't know reason, I get triggered. It brings me back to the point where Kay turned the channel on me after grabbing my boob. That's how angry and triggered I become right away. It's like, oh, somebody turned off my TV. Somebody turned off my internet. I feel like I'm going to fucking kill him now. So, yeah, it is still bothersome for me that my sister did what she did. Okay. So don't tell me to get over it because it's not going to happen, guys. And I told my neighbors all about my sister and stuff and she's like, well, maybe someday you'll be friends. And I'm like, I don't see that happening. And I was like thinking earlier, you know, why bother going to a family reunion with my dad, with Kay, with her husband? with my nieces, I'd be like probably in another room with my laptop 
happy with Wi-Fi, and just chilling around by myself. Is that vacation or not? Not really. And I'd probably get go out just to grab some food and that's it. I won't mingle with my family around if it's my sister around if she's not you know with anybody else I'll be like uncomfortable if she's like with somebody else like her husband I'm like I'll stay clear of her still and not hardly talk and I'm just not comfortable okay I am not comfortable around her period And she gla gaslights me, not gaslight, gaslights me when I confronted her about, you know, like her calling me fat when she entered the kitchen and she was pregnant. She goes, hi, fatty, or something, or she asked me if that was my stomach or my boob or something. That was rude. Something like that. Either hi, fat, or is that your boob or your stomach or something like that. I can't remember what. And and she's like, oh, I never said that. I don't remember saying that, so I never said that. That didn't happen. Fuck yes, it did. Don't lie. It did. You know what I mean? And you know, again, I wish mom and dad would have done something. I wish they should have laid down the law with my sister so fast. I don't care if she would get culpable punishment really, really hard, like slavery whipping. You don't grab my boob. You don't. Ever. If you grab my boob, you are going to go straight to jail. Or in a detention home. If you're that young, started out that young, and continued on doing it, and continued on doing it, you're a repeated offender, and you'll be probably sent to a mental hospital then, maybe. The judge would get tired of seeing you, and that's what he'll send you to. Because you don't care to learn your lesson otherwise. I'm just fed up with people like that. They think they know everything, and they don't. Seriously. God. And I got mad with um, watching some of the Lifetime movies because that psycho bitch who claimed that she was first married to, um, engaged, excuse me, to that guy and then he dumps her or something and then she exploited him with photos of his uh, future wife to his company and then they let him go with saying with not hearing him say hey my future wife has been hacked and stuff oh I wanted to fucking kill her cuz oh my god I'd be like to the detective if you don't find her I'd fucking kill her because if I lose my job, and if no one hears me out, then with saying it's not my fault, I've been hacked and stuff like that. Oh, I'll hire the best detective there is and hunt those motherfuckers down. And they'll be homeless and in jail. <sighs> they won't have a home when they get out of jail. They'll be living in a cardboard box. That motherfucker deserves it. If anyone pisses me off like that, I'm talking anyone. Either that or I'll have to kill them. Take the law out of my own hands. Because I did not go to school, work my butt off to get fired for no reason. If I get hacked with any social media, I'll hunt you bastards down nice and hard. And you'll be living the rest of your days outdoors where there's tornadoes, hurricanes. Get swept away from that. Have a nice death, motherfuckers. It's your funeral. So fuck with me. <laughs> Believe me, Suzanne fucked with me. So I gave her 
the fuck you. She's no longer caregiving material. She can't be a nurse. So that's my big double fuck you. She better not be my dreams either. Nope, nope, nope. And again, Nora, stop dreaming about your old haunted house. You don't live there anymore, so stop dreaming of it. Do you understand? Do you understand me? <sighs> or sometimes I wonder if the children in that house saying, Oh, I remember Nora. Let's go in her head and have her come into this dreamlike world and have her play with us. And the other, other one is like, Yeah. Is that what happened? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is why I double check my door to make sure no one actually does come in when I'm sleeping because I dream, my dreams are so vivid, guys. And they feel so real. I'm like asleep and then I hear neighbor just walking in and say yeah i'll help nora clean yeah and i'm like hearing this and hearing that and hearing them talking i get out of bed in my dream like world and i'm seeing them like two or three people <laughs> in my apartment <laughs> like what the fuck how did you get in here <laughs> you know when i'm like so this is why I double check my lock every fucking time, like five times before I go to bed. Yes, it's locked. Yes, it's locked. And this is why, too, I make sure the freezer is shut and my refrigerator is shut. Because when summer, I guess um, like three or four years ago or something, um, I did not close the freezer all the way or something. Well, I tried to and it popped open in the middle of the night or something and half of my stuff in the refrigerator froze. <laughs> I'm like, what? So, this is why I say to my mom, don't even touch the freezer, don't even touch the fridge. Because if she can bang the cabinets and bang my dresser drawer, she did that back in April. She banged the dresser drawer, but I did not have it on film. Um, then she can do anything to the refrigerator, too. Like, you know? So I go, Mom, don't even touch the refrigerator. Don't touch anything. Only touch the cat patty, and that's it. <sighs> so, Mom, you know the rules. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to... Um, brush my teeth, take my pills, take my, um, Tylenol because I kind of have a headache. And this being mad with, um, the, uh, Lifetime movie, that fucking bitch. Hope she gets caught, that fucker. Sorry about my language. <laughs> I'm so mad at her. And, um, and yeah, um, so I'm gonna just. Get ready for bed now. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Okay. Guess he dropped something again. Big feet, big foot, whatever his name is. The Wrong Wedding Planner. The movie is from 2020 and it's a Lifetime movie. That's the movie I was talking about. Man, I hope that bitch gets caught. <sighs> One mistake for that bitch and I hope she gets caught for it. You know, people make one little dinky mistake and the forensics will catch up to her and 
nail her and arrest her. Uh. <sighs> and yes, I double check my door. It's locked. I double check my refrigerator. It's closed in my fridge. And my freezer, I mean. It's closed, closed, closed. So. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you the day, the year and the um, title, excuse me, of the movie. I uh, took a sex again, because, um, you know, in case if I have bad gas pains or whatever, I don't know what would it be from, I guess might be from that water I drank, but I haven't drank any of that sparkling water today, so I'll wait and see, but, you know, the beans were protein, yes, but it might give me gas. I poured it already, so I go, I better take one just in case, because I don't want to stay up until, like, you know, one thirty, two o'clock in the morning in pain. I guess so. God, I hope I don't have any weird dreams. I hope I hope I hope I have pleasant dreams to where Kay gets what she deserves in my dreams. One time I did. Somebody actually did put her in time out, and I'm like, oh, fucking finally, fucking finally. Yes, Jesus, fucking yes. Oh, that's what I wanted so bad. Thank you. You know, that's what I was thinking in my head. I was like so fucking happy. I was like dancing inside. I was like partying going, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know. <sighs> I forget exactly what happened, but I finally got what she deserved in my dream. I'm like, Yay! It was like she and I were little or something, and she finally got what she deserved. I remember that dream like a, a few months ago or something, or a year ago or whatever. I don't know when, but oh my god, I was so fucking pleased. I was so fucking happy. I was like, fucking finally, fucking finally. <gasps> it was like a weight has been lifted. Yeah. And to be honest, I do wish she would go to purgatory or something until she confess, really confess that she did it. That she don't gaslight Jesus either. One of his angels. Ain't on that never happened, nor is a liar. Alright, have time in purgatory. Because I think that's what would happen. <laughs> Alrighty. I love my baby kitty cat with all my heart and soul. I could just hug her and kiss her like there's no tomorrow. Fucking, fucking yes. I fucking love that cat. Oh, she's going to be 29 on the 22nd. And in two days from now, 103 years old, Grandpa Ray would have turned the 18th of July. Hmm, I'm just really worried about my future, guys. I hope nobody fucking jinx or put my life in jeopardy with my career. Fucking damn it. I really don't want that to happen. That's my main anxiety and my worry. You know what I mean? I know I shouldn't worry about it, but God, people ruin it for me all the time. I did not go to school for nothing. I did not go to school to have people fuck with me. I didn't do that. God. 
And I hope I find a right significant other that will uh, stand by me and really support me and love me the way I am. And don't betray me or cheat on me or be mean to me or really abuse me like I've seen on Lifetime movies where husbands abuse their um, wives. I don't want that to happen. I don't want to be on a news channel either with somebody finding me dead on the deserted road or something, naked, with stab wounds or whatnot, and have my husband be the culprit. I hope people really treat me good in the future, guys. I really do hope. You know what I mean? That's what I'm really worried about, you know? I hope no one fucks with my future. I hope no one fucks with my future. I hope no one fucks with my job. I hope no one fucks with my love life or anything. God. I'm shutting up now. I'm gonna find narration if that's possible. Turning to the campsite, just out of reach. Finally, Dylan is able to catch the squirrel. After completing the challenge the man gave them, they have new hope that this all might be coming to an end. They think their abductor is having them pack up to go back, but again, he lied to them, and Shasta's brief moment of relief with Dylan immediately comes crashing down. I had just given him a hug, and so I was holding his hand, and I heard a loud bang. And then I felt my brother's hand slip from mine. I couldn't even say anything. Like, I couldn't scream. I couldn't, I couldn't, I just didn't even know what to do. The man shoots Dylan twice, right in front of Shasta. She has lost everything. <laughs>